What is up Tacoma family? Welcome back to a brand new video guys. I'm super pumped for today's install. It's Sunday morning, gonna meet up with the homie Jordan. Gonna be helping me with today's install. Of course, you clicked on the video, you saw the title. We're gonna be installing some new headlights on the Tacoma and I'm super stoked for the install guys. Shout out to Morimoto Lighting for sending me these badass lights. Honestly, I'm super stoked to put these babies on. Overall, why I wanted new headlights as well was because I daily drive my truck, you know, and sometimes I end up driving at night and I can't really see with the headlights I currently have on my truck. So of course I wanted something brighter and on these headlights, I know on their website they have different options, but not just headlights, they have a bunch of cool stuff. If you wanna get some ditch lights for your truck, if you wanna get some fog lights, they have a bunch of lighting guys. So make sure to show some love and check out their website if you wanna make a purchase. Make sure to turn on those post notifications if you wanna get notified when I post a new video. I am posting uh, weekly videos from now on, if you guys didn't know. We're close to 500 subscribers as well, guys. And then, of course, we're gonna get that front bumper for the taco. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a like on this video, and give me your honest feedback on what you think and what I should do next to the Tacoma. If you haven't already, guys, make sure to check out my latest video where I went to a new trail with Jordan. All right, guys, so we just arrived to the location. What's your address, bro? Uh, Nevada. Uh-huh. Yeah. Coordinates are 39.2673. <laughs> All right, guys, we just arrived. Say what's up to the video, bro. Hey, yeah, we're gonna get ready to install the, the headlights, guys. We're gonna get everything out and then I'll show you some clips of the headlights. The headlights that I have on the Tacoma, of course, you guys have seen them on my videos when I go wheeling and just have the truck on the channel. But these are the headlights we're gonna be putting on. They look uh, super badass, projector headlights with the big DRL here, which on these, it only goes kind of halfway. Jordan's gonna remove the grill now, so we get access to the headlights. So pretty simple, just take these guys out and then some clips on the side. Just pull out pretty simple, there we go. And that way you get easier access to your headlights. So now what we're gonna do is take off some bolts here that connect to the fender liner and then pull this back and then that's gonna give us access to release the headlight. Basically you wanna pull off your fender back here and then just use like a flathead and pop this off and then that gives you access to this little guy right here that you need to unbolt. You should be able to remove your headlight now. Unclip the wiring from here should be easy i will put the blue cover on when we're doing the install so that way when we're putting on the headlight we don't scratch them up do recommend that just look at these headlights they look super nice super clean like i mentioned the big drl that goes around the whole headlight the black inside nothing chrome makes it look super clean and nice so we're gonna pull this back and then i'll show you guys where you need to place your flat head pull back and kind of tug it out RIP the paint. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to take this off. So like I said, if you have an extra hand, that helps a lot. Same thing to the other side, just looks kind of different. Take that off and then you're able to release uh, your headlight. Now we're gonna wiggle out the headlight out and then we'll get to putting on the new headlights on the truck. We officially just remove the old headlights. Pretty simple process. What would you say, bro? Is this a pretty easy install? You got all these little plastic pieces you don't want to break. So just take take your time. Sometimes you have to pull a little bit harder, but it's pretty easy. But yeah, just basically pulling off this correctly will help you a lot to be able to remove your headlight because the other stuff was pretty simple. It was removing your grill, some of the bolts, and then uh, some plastic pieces. But now guys, um, like I said, we're gonna start putting on the headlights, but I recommend leaving on this blue plastic over your headlight so you don't scratch it while you're putting it on or you don't get a bunch of fingerprints on it. Pretty easy from here on out. You just wanna connect all of your wiring to the factory one over there. And then this, this one right here, if you want the sequential turn signal, you leave it plugged in, I believe. And then if if you just want a regular uh, turn signal, you just unclip it. We just put on the, the headlight. Man, me and Jordan were shocked. We turn on the DRL and the turn signal. You guys are gonna have to wait for later into the video, but it looks freaking awesome, guys. Definitely recommend the headlights already. When we turn on the DRL, it was like super bright and the projector 
lights were crazy we currently have the second one on they look super sick guys we're gonna put everything back on put our grill close the hood and then show you guys how these headlights look make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel let me know what you guys want to see next on the youtube channel me and jordan are planning a uh, camping trip frog bayou so it's gonna be super cool we got the headlights on they look super sick super impressed with morimoto headlights man it just looks crazy clean and mean guys i love how like i said all the drl is all of the headlight it's not just cut off like the other headlights that you see what we did notice as well was when you're turning on the low beams it's all three but when you're turning on the high beams throws out extra power so jordan's gonna turn on the low beams here all right so those are just the low beams guys it turns on all three of them and it looks super sick and the high beams just turns on extra power and the turn signal crazy bright check that out guys super sick both of them on looks super bright what is up it's the next day with the headlights i'm super stoked and i just love the the headlights overall i'm gonna be showing you guys some clips of the full drl um since it's getting a little darker now so you guys can see how bright the drl is the headlights itself and then i'm gonna show you guys the two different modes of the sequential turn signal that they have so this is with the low beams on they look super sick and one thing i love about these headlights is that they match my raptor lights which i love because i was going for the led look and not amber look so i love the results of that they are just super bright nothing chrome at all like i had stated i just love how everything is blacked out in there what i like is that it illuminates all three all three projectors and with the high beams it just gives it a nice brighter touch which i love so let me demonstrate how bright the high beams are check that out so these two get brighter which is super neat and i love that a lot so let me show you guys one more time man it just gets crazy bright so with the headlights what i am gonna need to do is adjust them so that way when i'm driving on the road i'm able to see the road clearly perf like perfect and i'm not able to see that mark off mark off line i'll probably do a, a separate video on me doing that to the headlights but as of right now i just kind of wanted to show you guys a rundown of the headlights i will put a link in the description of this video so you guys can just click it and you can see the options of the items that they have for tacomas not only for tacomas but just other vehicles you can check out their website and just see all their awesome lightings that they have all right guys so like i said let me show you the turn signal so check that out that one looks super sexy now let me show you that other one that sequential just makes it pop now let me show you guys with both look at that if you're stopped on the road um, there's an emergency on your vehicle and you turn these babies on everyone's gonna see you on the road with these bright headlights the turn signals or emergency lights um whatever you want to call it it's this one right here if you want it to be sequential then you leave it plugged in exactly the same as the other side and then now i'm gonna demonstrate when you have it turned off how it looks so it's just gonna kind of blink it looks still super sick and bright but in my opinion i prefer the sequential same thing looks super bright now let me demonstrate both yep so it just looks super simple if you just kind of want it to be simple whatever you want you can have it at that or if you want the sequential put that little clip that i showed you guys uh together make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you in uh, enjoyed this install or hit me up uh leave a comment if you have any questions on the headlights itself and i'll be sure to help you guys so now that it's dark outside i just wanted to show you guys the clips so this is the low beam it's super bright but you can see the cutout where i need to adjust the headlights and all the way over there you can see it all right so low beams high beams so you can see it illuminates all the way far like they're crazy bright like i said this is the low beam check that out they look super bright 
good distance. Once again, I need to adjust everything to where it's lined up and then it'll look super clean and nice. This is with the high beams. So it just shoots all the way down there. Check that out, guys. Love that. This is me driving with the low beams. They look super nice and bright. I can see everything ahead of me. And if I wanna turn on the high beams, you know, like if there's no one on the road, turn those babies on and I can see the whole road. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you watched through all of it. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you wanna see more awesome videos like this. Till next time, peace and love to Como family.